Hello everyone, I am going to explain question number 11 from exercise 5.2. This question belongs from 12th class maths RBSC board. The question is use matrix method to solve following system of equations. So three equations are given to us and with the help of matrix method we have to solve this. So first the matrix form of given equation is we have to write down the matrix form of the equation for that uh, this column is for the x variable, first column is for the x variable, second column is for the coefficients of uh, y variable, third column is for the coefficients of z variable. So here the coefficients of x variable are 6, 4 and 2, so 6, 4, 2. Then y's coefficients are minus 12, 15, 18 so that I entered here and uh, z column's coefficients are 25, 20 and 15. So these two coefficients is entered here. And here just uh, create, so it's a square matrix of order 3 and uh, it's a column matrix. In this column matrix, whatever be the variable used in the equations. So variable which are used in the equation are x, y, z. So since here we wrote first for x variable, second for the y variable, third for the z variable coefficient. That's why here also entry in proper order first x, then y and then z. Again, I am repeating, whatever order you maintain for the first column, second column and third column for the square matrix to enter the coefficients of the variable, same order maintain in the next column matrix also. In that also, the variable should come in the proper order. First is x, then y and then z. And last, after equal to what uh, you have here, that is 4, 3 and 10, that is the side in sequence. Now, so like this the given equation we have to convert in the matrix format and in that we will assume them as so this square matrix assume as A this column matrix we assumed as X and this column matrix we assumed as B so it is our A X equal to B here if you want X because uh, we have to solve the equation to solve the equations means we are going to find out the values of X, Y, Z so this columns value we want so conclusion is from this equation we want x. So if this a is in multiply, so it will go here, it is going to be a inverse. So conclusion is first we have to find out the a inverse and that a inverse will multiply by the b matrix and that will give us the answer. Now from here I wrote what is a, x and b. A means this square matrix is our a, this column matrix is our x and this column matrix is our b. After that uh, since uh, from equation 1 it is very clear that we need A inverse and A inverse formula you know that is adjoint A upon determinant of A. So we want the determinant of this matrix A that I calculated here that is uh, A determinant. So I opened it by the first row. So first 6 came here positive 6 because it is A11 one, one place and then uh, when we cross this column and row we are remain with 15 into 15 is 225 and 20 into 18 is 360 because of minus formula minus minus got positive here. Now here this place is for uh, A12 since it is place of A12 means I just want to mean that uh, the place is A12 that's why it is going to be minus 1 power 1 plus 2 that is minus 1 power so it's going to be negative. Now since whatever be the minor or cofactor we will write here that is going to be negative and one minus sign it already has so that minus and minus becomes positive. So like this plus sign appeared here. Now we will cross this column and this uh, row. So when we will cross this column and row we are remain this 4, 2, minus 20 and 15. So cross it. So when we will cross it 4 multiplied by 15 60 entered here then minus sign of formula and this minus becomes positive then 20 into 2 20 into 2 is 40 then this this place is for this place value is uh, this place value is a13 now since we have here a13 
So 1 plus 3 is how much? 4. So minus 1 to the power 4 it will do is going to be positive. So conclusion is uh, the 25 is going to be positive. Now cross it. So when we will cross it you will get here this matrix is 5 matrix remained here that is 4 into 18 72 minus 15 into 2 30. So we expanded along the first row. After expanding you just do plus minus and you will get the determinant A as 5760. That I assumed as equation second. Now we, since we want the adjoint of A, for that we need the cofactors of matrix A. So I wrote here matrix A again and we need the cofactors of matrix A that I calculated here C11. C11 means this place 6. Instead of 6 place, this is C11 cofactor. We are going to write down for this place. So we will cross it. We are remained with the square matrix that is 15 into 15 is 250, 225. And 20 into 18 is 360 and this minus uh, minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 becomes 1 plus 1 here. So it's going to be, since uh, it's uh, positive, it is going to be plus 1. So answer is positive. And uh, same way I calculated all the cofactors because in previous uh, questions we already calculated the cofactor. That's why here I am not explaining all, you just understand how I calculated the cofactors and uh, if you are not able to understand any calculation, you can write in comment, then I will explain that. So after finding the cofactor, adjoint A I wrote here, for adjoint A enter all the values here and then just do the transpose of it, when we do the transpose, we we'll get this matrix, so this is adjoint A, so inverse A value is going to be the formula is adjoint A divided by A. So this is our adjoint A matrix and this is our determinant that I calculated for equation second and third. Now from equation 1 which we already have x is equal to A inverse B that I wrote again. From here we want x so A inverse value just now we calculated A inverse value B is for this column which you can see the previous steps of this question. Now here you have to multiply that, you have to multiply the two columns. So you will get here uh, two matrix you have to multiply among the one is y matrix other one is column matrix. So now you see the multiplication, uh, first row multiplied by the column, so you will get uh, 585 multiplied by 4, you will get here 2340, then 630 multiplied by 3, you will get this answer. Then minus 135 multiplied by 10, you will get this answer. In the same way, second row multiplied by the column, I entered here. And third row multiplied by column, I entered the value here. So this is a column matrix again. So do plus minus, simplify it. And uh, after the simplification, you will get uh, this answer. You will get this answer. Now here 5760 is outside the matrix, so when it will go inside the matrix, it will divide by all because it is in division, that's why. So when we will divide it, we will get like this and we'll cancel it. So when you will cancel, you will get the answers 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 5. That is our x. Now what is x? x is a column matrix in which the elements are x, y and z. So from here, we can compare and we will write x is equal to half, y is equal to 1 upon 3 and z is equal to 1 upon 5. Like this, this question is completed. So this question is easy but very calculative. Patiently we have to calculate all the values and easily we will get the answer. And in cofactors I not explained it and uh, but I hope you know it and further if you have any doubt in cal calculations, you will write down in comment. I'll clear out your doubts. Thank you.